What's up everybody, this is John G from becomeabeatmaker.com on Wing Sound. In this tutorial, I want to go over the step sequencer in FL Studio. So right here, you got your toggle, which basically opens and closes the window. You double click. Right over here, you got your beats per bar, so you can go all the way up to 64 bars. Okay? Right here, you got your repeat step sequencer, so if you have a track that's 16 bars and you have a drum pattern that's only 4 bars, it will continuously repeat the drum pattern while the 16 bars plays out so it won't stop short. All right, and over here you got your swing. Here you got your graph editor so you can pan the notes, velocity, release, module X and Y, pitch, and shift, which also works similar to the swing. And right here you got your keyboard editor, and this you can just add different variations of the sound. You go high, low, medium, so on and so forth. Okay, and right here you got your play and pause. And if you right click on it, you can just scroll back to the beginning. Okay. Your pattern selector, you can have as many different patterns as you want in FL Studio. So right now we're in pattern one. So anything that we add in here is pertaining to pattern one. And then pattern two, you can have a different pattern as well. So then from here, you can just toggle back and forth. Pattern one, pattern two, so on and so forth. And if you click on these channels here, you're going to get your channel settings. Each channel has its own settings, and you can go over this in your own time, but there's a ton of different features per channel that you can apply to the sound. I mean, you can really get a lot of different variations of that. So go through the channel settings, and you can get really creative with that. Over here, this is called your channel display filter, and this will determine what channels you can see. So if you click on that, uh, right now i got some audio clips loaded up, so I'll click on that, and I'll just see the audio clips or I'll click on all and I'll see all my tracks plus the audio clips and so on and so forth and you can actually create your own groups if you right click and add a filter group you can create your own group of sounds so that way you can just toggle back and forth and that just really simplifies your workflow it's a good little feature there and down here you got your LEDs so every time the track scrolls through these are gonna highlight okay and right here if you right click on this you can either solo the track or you can unsolo it and bring up all the tracks you got your channel panning left and right, and you got your volume knobs right over here. So as you can see, the step sequencer is an essential part of composing songs in FL Studio. I you know, highly recommend just taking your time, go through it, learn it, digest it. It's all good. So that's an overview of the step sequencer. All right, John Z signing off. Become a beatmaker.com. Join the conversation by following Wink Sound on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube to keep up with everything you need to know about music and audio technology. 